this purchase includes a fully rigged custom businessman character with a briefcase and around 20 custom poses. And the renders are super duper quick, 11 seconds in cycles and 5 seconds in Eevee. This is the overview part of the video. Thanks for sticking through through the intro. Everything will be mentioned in the timestamps in the description. So if you're looking how to create a pose, where to buy the character, or if you want to see the rig or anything, just check out the timestamps in the description and you'll be able to see everything down there. To get Blender, just go under downloads and Get the latest Blender on blender.org slash downloads. It's going to be 3.31. The poses is in the pose library. So make sure you use the latest Blender at least 3.2 and up. These new poses work with this new style of Blender libraries. This is the checking out the rig part of the video. Let's start by going to the pose mode and just simply checking out the rig. Let me press N so you can see all the layers we have and let's move this slightly more so let's actually remove the tweaks because these are annoying and uh, yeah this is the facial rig it's pretty detailed you can open up the mouth talk you can also move the tongue in case he speaks cool you can also of course move the head of course, you can walk if you want to. Everything is coolio. And of course, this one. And there's a bunch of other layers you can enable if you want to uh, do more stuff. This is the changing the poses part of the video. So to change poses, first thing you have to do is make sure you are in pose mode. To do that, just go in pose mode. and uh, we can just click on the poses in the left corner and you can yeah flip through the poses and do whatever you want to do if for some reason when you change poses it looks like this that means you have a layer selected so make sure you right click on nothing you can see here I'm right clicking and if I press G nothing moves and if I have this selected and I press G you can see the character moves so just make sure nothing is selected and then when you change poses everything should be fine now we're at exporting renders part of the video so first things first make sure you set enable the set this is the light and then of course disable simplify this just make this is this helps you to create poses but when you render just make sure you have it disabled and when you're ready to render just go in cycles or ev in my case i'll go to cycles then go into top left corner click render image and it's gonna render it in my case it takes around 11 seconds so we'll just wait for that to finish and shablam to save the image just click on image save as and Choose your settings, GP, RNG, whatever you want, and save as image. Now we're at the creating a custom pose part of the video. I'm going to hide the set so we don't have any annoying things on our screen. I'm going to press N to hide the thing on the left. And I'll also enable the simplify mode, which I recommend you disable later when you render, but for now, we will need it. Anyways, we'll first go on our default pose and uh, yeah, we'll make a simple soldier pose. So we'll press G, just move it down like that, like that. Then we'll press this numpad period. <laughs> it's going to help us uh, move the lock and zoom in on the thing we're looking at. And we're gonna do like that, rotate. Well, it doesn't look the best, but this is just showing the rig. <laughs> Anyways, we'll move the elbow so it looks more real. And then we'll move the leg to a more, I don't know, better pose. And we'll actually make him smile. Let's maybe sit him down a bit. 
and we'll zoom into the face again with numlock i'm pressing g and then i'm pulling it down or i'm just going to press g and x not just g and z and i'll pull it down and then i'll pull these I, i'll select these corners with shift I'm pressing shift and i can select them both at the same time and i can make him smile a lot close up the eye as if he's blinking we can press this it's going to be black just so we can see how it looks in render the eye looks weird so we're gonna move that down um this looks pretty good in case you can see i'm rotating with my middle mouse you can enable that by going to preferences under input emulate three button mouse so when i press alt and left click i can rotate around when i press alt and shift i can move like this anyways that is our custom pose to save a custom pose it's fairly simple first make sure you have your pose enabled uh, made and then the next thing we're going to do is press n and then we're going to go under animations if you don't see animations just make sure you are in pose mode and then press a to select everything but make sure you uh, also select the rig layers you use to make the pose so in case you use the tweak make sure you enable that and also select those rig layers anyways uh, to save the pose just uh, create on create pose asset and you can see it's going to give you a prompt pose name we'll call it confident stance and shablam it should be saved yep it's the first one in case you don't like the name you want to rename it you can see here from the left side you can pull out uh, a thing and then you can rename it in case you want to uh, we'll put it back like this and like that and to flip through poses as usual just do your thing and then you can see our confident pose and our pose like that okay that is about it thanks for watching bye bye